Oh my goodness. I don't know how that mosquito got behind me, but I don't know what that, I mean, is that a prank? <laughs> Am I being punked? I don't know. I got a call last minute, late at night. I show up to an elementary school, law enforcement, fire was on site. I walk up, there's a huge 10 foot alligator and uh, the job had to get done. So luckily he was a beast, but we handled him. You have to get these alligators tired. So I know it looks like I was poking and prodding them and messing with them a little bit, but you have to get these animals tired. They're way too powerful uh, for you to walk up and grab or touch or even try to put this right here, catch pole, um, which he obviously broke. So I brought this for you guys. <laughs> this is a stainless steel catch pole that yeah. I use to catch my alligators with, and it is significantly bent and broken. So he just absolutely destroyed it. Uh, and yeah, so you got to get these things tired before you mess with them. I love gators. Like literally I will go up to a gator. I. Yeah. I shouldn't confess this on here. Yeah. When I got to Florida, I did not know that like giving a gator a little treat was not. Oh, smart. what? So I gave it a wonton one time. No. And, and then my fiance was like, do you want to go to jail? Which I don't, so please. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you let me, you learn. You I know, the, me. I know yeah. the rules now. All right, I, you've been waiting for this segment all morning long. And I hope that you've already had your breakfast because this one might not sit well on the tummy. A shocking amount of filth is legally allowed in your food. Now, if you like PB&J, know that jelly is less regulated. Oh my gosh, so that can have up to five whole insects in every three and a half ounces. How did I get this story? I, because I am trying to like brace people for this. You know, and it's all in the crunch. Oh gosh. Like granola. The key is low fat, low calorie. Those protein. bugs, yeah, right. and protein, so. Good luck. Enjoy like your meals, guys. Nothing like a, like a silver lining, Mel. <laughs> a royal sighting. Our very own News for Jack's reporter, Jim Piggott, happens to be visiting London, and he shot this video of the king and queen. Oh, I love it. He was so excited to be going, and for him to have this experience, he shared it very quickly. So he is detailing his experience so far across the pond. So I'm here in London, been here for a few days, vacation with friends, and I'll tell you, incredible sights. Seeing the king and queen drive by, have a great guy here that's showing it, that knew that was going to happen, it was an experience. From London, Jim Hedget, Channel 4, the local station. Cheerio. Baby, I'm sorry that I left you, but I finally found the courage, time and place is also perfect to get back.